Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. In the last episode we got our submarine set up for the Oceans campaign and we now have two more pieces of loot that have unlocked as a result. We have the Gordian Knot and Rhyme of the Angry Mariner. Doesn't matter which one we do, we need to do both. Let's just hit the one on the left. Captain Nemo's charts have revealed to you the location of the ruins of Atlantis, but the only ship capable of reaching them is the Nautilus. Send it out to claim the treasure you've been searching for all this time. Side story begun. No cutscene. So, the first thing we need to do is see where that is. Oh, it's the one we've already got? Excellent! Let's go get it! I must admit, I thought the treasures of Atlantis would be more... Hmm substantial don't know what to tell you we went down there and grabbed everything that wasn't nailed down ah therein lies the problem we also need everything that is nailed down preferably before the boss finds out this is true before i do that my eyes have now been open to the positivity of decor um so this person an agent has escaped. Is losing morale and smarts but pretty slowly, but if we get the decor of that. Yeah, slows morale drain. So let's stick that here. Yes, that's hitting both objects. And we'll stick one here. And then do I have one that deflects smarts loss? Not yet. I assume I'm going to get one eventually. I have one that slows health loss, but who needs that? I'm curious what that is. I mean, the health loss thing. I can't remember any object in the game that would cause any sort of health drain. But still, if this slows down morale drain, fair enough. That'll help us out in the long run. Anyway, uh, complete crafting project cutting edge. Man, we last, still... Something worthy of it is taking my engineer so long to get this done. Um, I'm Why going to take now? a risk and bump our engineer count up to 10. But that's so expensive. That's $20,000 from the salary, which is about a quarter. No, it's almost a third. Yeah, it's almost a third of the salaries that we're giving already. A third of the money going to the engineers. That's so pricey. I, I hate paying the workers, man. Um, you know what? Tell you what. Get over here, Max. Why don't we use your power to insta-train some of these engineers? Because it's going to take a long time if we don't. And hopefully that will help us out a little bit. I have to raid Atlantis again, and I love how it moved. Because <laughs> Atlantis was down here. Now, down here by South America, now it's over here by Mexico. That's... I don't know why that's making me laugh. Anyway, let's raid Atlantis again. Task complete. The ruins of Atlantis will com complement your lair's aesthetic nicely. Will it? Okay, that's done already. Uh, w wait, 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 wait. What do we get out of that? Hold on. Uh... Ruins of Atlantis allows engineers to generate tech. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I guess that takes the workbenches away? Because if all I need is... If this can be manned by multiple people, why not just have the one? It doesn't even cost any power. And it causes no suspicion? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, um... Well, we've got that one, so let's now go for the Gordian Knot, actually, since I'm here. So there's only one more piece of loot, and we've already got it unlocked. Really? That quick? Uh, okay. Or this one, Nautilus Bonus Schemes. Oh, so this isn't actually loot per se. The Nautilus has thus far proven to be an incredible submarine. Send it out into the world to enrich you with the ocean's treasures, and resist any and all attempts by its previous owner to wrest control of it back. Finally, I've been on hold forever. Listen here, I represent a very powerful man whose sea vessel you have. Sea vessels? This is Death Trap Maintenance. 
Were our death traps subpar <laughs> during your last attack on our lair? <laughs> oh, my poor customer service reps. They are paid the worst. I thought this was a direct line to the CEO. Chief Evil Officer. Uh, wrong department. I can probably dial them up if you don't mind going back on hold for a few. I don't have time for that. Just find someone in charge and then tell them Captain Nemo wants his ship back. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Uh, what do I need to do? Defeat crew members. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy enough. Ah, uh, yeah, and the group think pit is uh, holding at least four engineers who are just twirling about. So I like having four research machines per thing, but I think this counts. I like having one of these, one of these, four of these, just like I sort of have four of each in the research room. So that's my preferred balance. Now I'm sure it is a perfectly justifiable, I see what's going on up here. I think it's a perfectly justifiable strategy to have more than that, especially if you can afford to have way more engineers. And that's fine, but I like having four because I'm a patient person. Also, these crew members are dying real quick. I'm not fully sure what happened, but there is a lot of candy bars over here. I think we're going to have to cleanse the base because uh, just the things got a little hairy here, so we'll just do this. No, no, Jabay, over here, buddy. I, am I need you to go over this way. Yup, yup, attack. Oh, because these guys aren't tagged. That's it. There we go. Now we can uh, cause a little havoc. I've noticed this before, but I don't think I've voiced it. The one advantage of Red Alert is that it cancels any minion who's on their way to a mission. That's really helpful with these submarines when I need so many minions to go. Like, in that case, I went red alert, and these minions who were all lined up broke away to fight. I'm still having a bit of a problem. There are just too many people here. And now... Because Jaws keeps showing up, they're seeing all of these body bags that are everywhere, which is less than helpful. Yeah, so we're just having to get rid of everybody. I mean, it's not the smoothest way to do this, but until I recover my manpower... Yeah, we need to just execute everyone who gets in our way. Defeat number one in the lair. Oh, okay, so we're about to defeat some more people. Yup, here come some more jerks. Um... I mean, I may as well tag them to die. Yeah, so... Wow, they're not doing anything to Japan. His <laughs> health is barely getting touched from these guys. Your hordes and traps are no match for us. Oh, here. shut up, Foxworth. Bring the parasites. The same thing will happen to them. Right now, I just need to constant uh yep, yeah, here come some Jaws soldiers. That's fine. We'll bring the henches back over here. Just hopefully Nemo shows up sooner than later so I can deal with him. Wonder if he's gonna come from the side entrance. Chief Evil Officer, I call ye now on behalf of the visionary Captain Nemo to concede the Nautilus to ya. I mean I'm glad. I I'll be honest, I don't even know where you were in the base. So you were literally beneath my notice. We're already building a new one on our mysterious island. A submarine that can go around the world in 80. Oh, hey, submarine guy. It's me from Death Trap Maintenance. Did you have a chance to sample our death traps? Uh, just put me back on hold. The Nautilus has taken its rightful place as the crown jewel of your fleet. Okay, so did that get me anything? No, because I don't even have any alerts for anything. Oh, oh not security zones. Uh, let's see here. Damn it. Here we go. Yeah, I'm still missing one chunk of the loot. Give me one moment.
Ah, uh, okay. As you can see here, the other loot item is the Suit of the Ocean Master, and to get that, we have to finish Old Man of the Sea side story and choose to kill Deep Sex, but he cannot be obtained. So, or rather, it cannot be obtained if he's recruited. So we're going to have to slightly break our rule again of trying to hire all the male henches. That's fine. So we're going to have to kill Deep Six and hire Carla Jones at least long enough to get their uh, their respective loots. So also there's Poseidon's Trident, but we don't know when that shows up. But we've got everything else. We've got the Ruins of Atlantis. And I've got the Fountain of Youth. Uh, we've got the induction. Oh, we've got the ray gun. We'll get the induction chair later. Um, we've got the pyro pack stuff. We've got tro the Trojan horse. We have the Nautilus. Okay, so we're ready to go on now, finally. Although currently there's a parasite causing problems. I'm not sure where. Oh, there he is. Uh, I want speak or she, I guess, in this case. Yeah. So we'll get the henches over there to deal with her, Jane Steele. Unfortunately, I don't have flow activated. Oh damn, she uh she kicked our ass. Can you use the gun from close range? Yes, you can. Excellent. Oh, it's doing a decent amount of damage too. All right, I'm gonna red alert long enough to get Jane Steele off the map. Uh, meanwhile, so we've got that going. We can advance the main story quest. And the engineers did not count for me, so I need to get the rest of the military minions. Let's go social first. Why not? Business in the casino is booming. Your valets are rushed off their feet, keeping up with all the tourists' exasperating antics. That was hard to say. It's time to train some minions to deal with them. We have a problem. The casino is crawling with tourists. They're everywhere. They've left us no place to hide. Isn't that a good thing? It sounds like business is booming. You'd think so, but we can't get to the agents. More and more are slipping through before we can get to them. That just won't do. Double the shifts, cancel your leisure time, drink more coffee, do whatever it takes. Meanwhile, I'll get a team to find someone to distract the tourists. Celebrities should know what to do. Drinking more coffee sounds You've like an excellent idea. It's a very cold, coffee. blustery day here since it's November. Wow, these jerks. Jane Steele is really kind of being a twat here. Okay, well, that's fine. That'll resolve itself eventually. Uh, we need to kidnap a socialite on the world stage. That would be here. I have no mission going on over here anyway, so let's do it. Not that anyone's going to be able to get to that for a hot minute, since we've got Red Alert going on. But I can also launch a couple other missions while I'm waiting. Hey look, money. Another lesson I learned through doing these runs is I prefer not to have salaries that cost more than 10% of my cur my total treasury capacity. Because if it is more than 10% and I run into a problem or have a big buy order, when that goes through, I'm suddenly out of cash. $73,000 is way more than 10% of $208,000, so we're going to have to do something about that. Olga's here, clearly. You can hear her blathering. Okay, can I afford... No, the next safe... Yeah, the next safe is the final safe. Man, all right. Well, that means we're going to do a build order to try to greatly expand the vault. So that's going to run into some severe money issues. I'm going to have to do this in pieces because just the room itself, if I stretch all the way there, that's $107,000 just for the room. So we'll do this in stages because I don't want to be completely out of money. Why did- Your troops are soft to varish. How is that digging itself out? This is seriously the best you have to throw at me? You did what? I will leave what? for now. Why do I have- Why is the floor digging this. itself out? Is that some sort of engineer power I never noticed before? Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oops. We'll, uh, we'll get this built. <laughs> 
And uh, I need to go on a little fundraising to be able to, uh, well, fundraise. What to do? You have the true workings of evil. So OP. A Numenian type is available in our lair. Buddhist, in my lair, get them! Uh, actually, boss, I'm one of your staff. Oh, good. We need a bit of class out there. Keep those tourists busy and we'll get along just fine. Are you going to call off your guards? Maybe. <laughs> Since we need money, rather than continuing the MSQ, I'm going to have to divert a little bit and do some other missions. Let's go after Demolition Woman, since Wrecking Bola is toothless. Wrecking Bola, Saber's master of demolitions, has decided to bust your operation open, fend off her initial attacks. Hey, big brain. I've been seeing you make trouble out there in the world. You're having fun? All the time. Am I supposed to know you? You're talking to me like I should care who you are. Nah. Most people don't learn the name Wrecking Bola until they are standing in the debris of their lives and asking the other survivors, what just happened here? Maybe that would intimidate most people, but I'm not most people. So all I have to say to you is, get in line. I love him. I love Max. All right, Toothless Bola, just bring it. Run schemes in Saber territory? Oh, uh, okay. Guess I'm just gonna pull out a smash then. Wait a minute, I actually have some... Uh, some, uh... Broadcast power since I'm... Since I expanded the control room. So, never mind, this will work. Oh, are you camping in that spot, you doof? Well, what if I cancel this one? And then we'll see if you move, and if not, we'll just run a scheme over here. Blue saint. More like blue... ...ass. Ha! Gotcha. Ugh. Hot pyro pro tip, when you do these for yourself, where you have to run a scheme in a territory, it's best to just run the schemes, I mean, when that's an objective, run schemes in Saber Territory 0 out of 5. It's best to do the quickies. Even though I'm having to spend intel to do it, 10 seconds is better than having to wait frickin' one hour. When the game first came out, these super long-term ones, these one-hour schemes, were not part of the game. So these super short ones are sort of how we can make up for it. Which is kind of annoying because this isn't getting me anything. By running the 10 second heat kills, I'm not actually getting anything, but I am getting through the objective that I need to do. And since I'm gonna get $100,000 at the end of this, then it's kind of worth it for the short term to spend a little cash now. I've made a minor alteration to the base, which the minions are currently working on. You can see that we've got stairs over here now, and they lead directly to this section where I've got my guard table. And the reason I'm doing that is we're walling off the vault, which you can see sort of here. I don't know why the minions aren't working on it yet. Oh, they probably need the stairs built first so they have a path. Yeah, now they'll, now they'll get to work on it. So this way, when symmetry shows up... See, why are the walls auto generating what the heck uh when symmetry shows up then she must teleport into the vault and then the only way out from there is to go right through my guards now eventually what i plan on doing is expanding the guards section i could even get rid of this hallway as a hallway and turn that into a guard section maybe even move the infirmary extend out the guard section this way but right now it's fine. We don't have that many threats, but it will be a thing we can do in the future. So meanwhile, now I'm going to make sure I don't spend more than $100,000. You can see in the top right how much I'm spending. But we're going to try to expand the vault capacity slowly because otherwise I'm going to run out of money very quickly. Especially since I'm working on the mission to get more minion types, that just means we're going to have a greater expense. And so we want to make sure that we can afford it. Uh, just over $100,000. Oops. I mean, that should be fine for now. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're gaining $84,000 
for the capacity at a cost of 113000 for now. That's fine. I just don't want to spend more than $100,000 a time due to our salaries of being $85,000. I don't want to screw myself out of upsetting all of the minions already. So that's why I'm going to work a bit slowly. But while I'm doing that, it doesn't matter because I have plenty of other things to do. Um, I mean, I can get all these traps. It doesn't really matter. This is a good one to have the... Uh, the better uniforms, that way my minions can handle the temperatures better. So that's just something we can do idly, especially since it takes so long to do these research projects. I mean, the engineers aren't doing anything else while we're waiting around. I legitimately forgot Wrecking Bola had even showed up. What is it? Um, is it? well, she's wandering around. I mean, I may as well bring in you got it. the henches and myself to pop her disguise. This is just going to cause a massive fight, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, I popped her disguise and no one even cares? Wait, we're... Jubei was psychologically weakening her? That's absurd. Okay, well, let's just... God, she sucks so hard that Jubei psychologically weakened her. God, you suck. You promised debris and destruction, wrecking Bola. And yet, curiously, my lair still stands. I killed your minions and you didn't even care. You were the worst. I got in pretty far, though, didn't I? Big no, green? you didn't. Farther than you thought anyone could get. You know, I will take... I, I take that back. I thought that you would care about me killing your minions, and you didn't. And you got a few steps further in because you didn't care that I killed your minions. So, sure, take the moral victory. You made a mess and nothing more. I can clean up a mess and make it look like it was never there. It's funny you should talk about making it look like something wasn't ever there. Because that's what I do when I go up against people like you. See you around. Boy, how will I ever recover from that burn? Okay, let's go deal with X as well, because I'm still going to need to fundraise. I may as well go through all of the Super Agent introductory missions just so I can get the money. Patriot has identified you as a potential threat. To deal with you, they've dispatched the greatest investigative and strategic mind in the world, Agent X. You must be the freedom-hating mastermind I've had so many briefings on. Thanks for making the time. And you must be Agent X. No one else would be brave enough to go out in that outfit. I feel no shame about marching into battle cloaked in the colors of freedom itself. Battle? With what time? I'm sure you think you're very important, but I have a five-star resort to run. Nice try, but I know the truth about you. And I won't stop until the rest of the world does too. God, Max looks like such a little gremlin in that pose and that angle with his face. Okay. Well, anyway, bring it, Axe. You're, you're not going to intimidate us very much. Minions? Find Agent X, and then kill him! Task. I have but one life to give for my country, but I won't give it today. Okay, X. You have met a new opponent to your plans. Although you have beaten them, it would be foolish to think they are defeated for good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I laud your dedication to your mission, Agent X, but for all your bluster, my operation appears to be intact. That's because tomorrow's paper hasn't hit the stands yet. You were so busy trying to fox me, you didn't even realize what secrets you were giving away to a keen mind like mine. Please, I can strangle that story in its infancy. Dark. Not so. Thanks to the power of Patriot's free press. So remember the next time we meet, I drew first blood. Whatever. Okay, so we've got enough money. You may notice I'm up to uh, 
$472,000 vault capacity. Still not where I want it, but it's a good start. Um, let's see. You know, before I actually go any deeper, let me check the achievements I'm missing. I want to see Max's specific achievements. So... Okay, complete the game as max on any difficulty, we're working on it. Complete it as hard, we're working on it. Steal every available loot item, we're working on it. Fire the Midas for the first time, that'll be unavoidable. Drop a certain agent into a specific trap. That one I'm still not 100% sure what's going on. From the image, it seems like that's... Drop a parasite into a shark tank. Allow the finest rogue in the world to succeed. I still... I'm still not 100% sure how to do that. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Uh, as Emma, can't do that. Here we go. As Max, create 20 golden statues and add them to the inner sanctum. As Max, have 200 specialist minions in the lair at once. As Max, complete henchman upgrade. That one will be easy enough to do. And the others are Zalika. Okay, so nothing... That's max specific is something I have to do early. So that's fine. This one's going to be a little bit of a pain just to get everyone trained up. But that's why I have the insta training. So I, I kind of get it. We'll worry about that late game. Um, okay. So we've got the cash now. I'm going to keep slowly working on upgrading our vault capacity. But for now, let's just keep going with the MSQ. So, next would be Merc in Progress. Who needs to aim when you have the Law of Averages on your side? Apparently not your guards, but surely there's a better way. Bring in a mercenary to teach them how to shoot. I just we need to oh. have a conversation about that last agent. We got him, boss. Got him good. Larry shot him, so did Radiga and Otis, and then we all punched him a bit. You also got a large number of holes in my walls. Who trained you? Trained? You mean like... Lend? Like, what a teacher would do? We ain't no nerds, boss. We ain't no nerds, boss. Ah, I see the problem. We need a weapons expert. Okay. I just realized for this episode and the previous one, I didn't announce my minerals beforehand. I kind of forgot. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better next time. <laughs> but I will announce the minerals. I'm sure one has already aired because we're almost done with this episode. Anyway, we're going to go kidnap a mercenary. New type of minion is now available for training. You kill people for money, don't you? Mostly. Sometimes I do it for fun. Hmm, creepy, but probably not a problem. That works for me, and so do you. That was easy enough. Okay, another crime lord? Oh, our girl, my favorite. Um, well, we need a little extra money. Let's do this one. Wait, can I do... Yeah, I'd rather do Wrecking Bola. Let's get a couple hundred thousand dollars. Still trying to expand that vault. Wrecking Bola has taken an interest in your organization, which is never a good thing. You need to show her right away why you're the wrong person to mess with. Boss, I've been reading up on Wrecking Bola. You know that crackdown in Mogadishu? That was her. By herself. If allowed to run rampant, it sounds like she could be quite the thorn in my side. So we'll nip her now. She's chewed up whole governments. How do we get her to engage in real terms? She's a stealth-based demolitions expert who can't resist a high-profile target, is she not? So if I build one, she will come. Absolutely. So the first thing we need to do is deal with her on the world stage. And, oh, I've got a few of those missions ready. I just, oh, God, I, get, I need to do five of them. All right, well, that's fine. We're going to just, that that also means we're going to wind up upsetting uh, uh, the parasites, probably. But that's okay. I'm going to do a little juggling and get rid of my ocean criminal networks for now. The, the problem with the ocean criminal networks is they don't give a lot of money. You can only do the passive income from them. You rarely are able to get some treasure, but it's generally not worth it. So anyway, 
I'm going to get these things upgraded, and that's going to do it for today because I'm out of time for this one, but we'll continue picking on Wrecking Bola in the next one. She's here. She is so beneath my notice that I'd rather just clear notification icons than deal with her. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.